Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Now what we've done here is I've put another loop inside that loop so I have a complete universal joint. And that is going to sit down in here. Move it up and down a few times, make sure it moves freely. You can see I pick it from the top so it kind of bounce. That's very good. Now I get this, make sure this is on this side. And then I'll go ahead and thread everything on here and put all the little pieces of pen filling and then I'll clip these off where I want them and stick another piece of pen filling over both of them and a drop of super glue and put the side on and we're ready to have fun I'm Scott Brown Green Wind and other home energies you see a piece of pen filling right there another one right there we're coming down two more pieces of pen filling and the loop that we made before I came up here to the uh, piston and two more to keep that in the center that keeps it from dragging over into one of these corners and binding and then we come over and I got two more of these pieces of pen filling and they kind of just roll nice and easy the inside one will get glued when it's up against the other one and this will be the rider bearing these ones here I don't even think I'm gonna glue them because they were real hard to get around them bends and I cut them mighty thin just to make sure that they'd uh, go on let me take this lens off here we get back into normal viewing so there's our assembly I've got one two and one two one two and one two that's eight pieces oh they're about a sixteenth of an inch thick or wide you see these don't get hung up they don't get hung up at all not a problem you can't bind them anyway they just do wonderful and that's what I need <clears throat> now we'll look over here what do I need two cranks or two two pieces for? Well, number one, I'm going to slide this into here. Line these up. And these are going to get clipped and joined with another one. Now that we've got all that other on, I'm going to slide this piece on the end. Pick it up over the edge. Oops, trying to bind a little. There we go. Over the edge. And I'm going to turn the machine... Where I'm looking down the piston and the displacer hole and line this thing up dead center pushing it against the sides right here now I've got it lined up nice and what I want to do is take my other hand hold this in before I go trying to glue all this I want to see if it spins it spins very freely okay now I can glue this here which I'll turn it around to do that where I can see and you can see. Sorry about the lighting conditions here. This is where I built the last few carburetors in the last few days. Okay, let's get the uh, super glue on it. Shouldn't be all that hard. Everything looks like it matches up and lines up real nicely. Since we did all the prep work of making sure everything had its clearances and spun freely. I put a copious amount down there and a copious amount down there. We'll drip some right down this where it meets here. Let it run as far as it wants to run. And come over here and do the same thing over here. Blah, blah, blah. And looky here. Now I could take a piece of this and clip it and bend it over. Or we can add some more reinforcement, or we can just go ahead and uh, daub it with a whole bunch of epoxy when we're all done. But super glue is easy to break loose if I do have a problem. And like, clean your super glue, put your lid on without squeezing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stand it up. Okay, and now we'll let, let that dry. Seems like it's already bonding. And the next thing we want to do is line this up. Slide these all the way to the outside. Slide both of these all the way to the outside. Now I want to put just enough super glue to keep these where I want them. This puts this in the middle of the piston. That's the most important part. 
and so isn't the uh, I kind of want to get them both pretty much in the center of wherever I can use them all right I'll take the super glue and we'll dab these top ones up here let me change the camera angle for you just a little bit there we go there we are kind of like my knees in the morning so I'm going to put a drop right up on this edge of the inner one and I'm going to wait till I see a drop hanging out the end over here and put that right I don't want too much I'll put it on the rod first and then bring it over to the first spacer there it is and just push it over till it touches and that ought to lock the first one hopefully not the second one you can always break the second one loose later I don't think I've got any over here yeah I see some now there we go I'm not trying to glue both of them just the outside one after it dries you can grab the uh, outside one that's against the frame with a pair of pliers and turn the crank and bust it loose and she'll ride nice and smooth and free that dry and I'll be right back. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies.